today I'm going to show you some of the best mods to enhance the way Crusader Kings 3 looks. This video will be timestamped and split into three different sections, characters, UI and maps. Just wanted to quickly say if you are new around here, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on some of the great Crusader Kings 3 mods coming out. So first for characters we have Fair Lords and Fair Ladies. These two mods work perfectly together and make all the faces in the game a higher resolution and they help each character look more distinct with face textures and skin tones that stand out a lot more. A mod that works really well with this is mod number 2 on this list, and that is Brighter Portrait 2. And as the name suggests, it makes all the characters look brighter. It might not sound like much, but it does make a huge difference while in game. It makes each portrait go from a dull, dimly lit character to one that pops out a lot more, and will definitely help see the differences made from mod 1. Next up we have the Community Flavor Pack and Ethnicities and Portraits Expanded. Between these two mods, they add massive amounts of new clothing items to the game that fit specific cultures, and the AI will also use them making each character stand out from one another. They're all super high quality and even make some vanilla assets HD. So if you want a more live feeling world, these two mods achieve just that. But remember to use the compatibility mods so they both work together. Moving on to UI mods, we have a great selection. I'm sure there will be a few you like the look of. New coat of arms changes the coat of arms for hundreds of houses and adds over 40 new houses to the game. Overall, the new coat of arms are much more unique than the vanilla ones. They include brighter colours and definitely nicer on the eyes and they even fit the game super well. The Interactions Icon Project is easily one of my favourite mods on this list. If you play CK3 for a few minutes, you will notice a lot of icons missing from Interactions menus, such as Imprison, Sending Gifts and many many more. This fills in all the blanks and changes vanilla icons, they all look amazing and make the game look much cleaner overall. A resizable event allows you to choose the size of in-game events. My favourite is the mode that makes them all bigger. By doing this, you can see all the possible outcomes without having to hover over each one. It looks great too. This is definitely a massive improvement over vanilla and it's definitely one I will run all the time. Unit graphic changes how the men at arms photos look. The vanilla portraits for the men at arms are all kind of bland and blending together and just don't look all that nice. This mod adds a much needed colour to them, making it look much better. A simple mod but does exactly what it says and it does it really well. More holding graphics will make the world seem a lot more immersive with way more holding graphics across the entire world and they're all spread out to match their correct cultures. Rather than most of the holdings in the game just looking exactly the same, this makes it so much more diverse and of course, looks way better. The last section is all for maps. Of course, these all won't work together but I've compiled a list of some of my favourites to show you. First up, we have Imperator Rome style map. If you've played Imperator Rome, you know the overview map just has border colours instead of being fully filled in like in CK3. While well, this mod does exactly that, nice borders allowing you to see the terrain as well as easily distinguish between countries. This is currently my favourite map mod to be honest, I really enjoy how this one looks. Now next up we have IR Terrain. The Imperator Rome Terrain map brings over textures from IR and makes the world seem so much more alive with nicer colours and textures all around. The grass looks way better, the sea is a nice blue colour and even the sand looks like sand. It makes the entire map just seem so much more lifelike and it's easily one of my favourite mods of all time. Next up we have Daddy Pika's Graphical Overhaul. If you're a big fan of vibrant colours you will love this mod, it's probably joint first with the IR style map for me. It brings a breath of fresh air to the vanilla darker colours and makes the sea a darker blue as well. It's just so much nicer to look at when you're playing, of course though if you're not a fan of vibrant colours you'll probably hate this. Strategic Arrows is the last mod on this list. It's a pretty simple mod but it makes the arrows shown where your troops are going a much brighter colour which makes them much easier to see and I think it just looks that much better than vanilla. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about this list or any mods I might have missed. But anyway if you're new around here be sure to subscribe to keep up to date on the new and best Crusader Kings 3 mods. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.